Yeah, so obviously our first rivalry game um, tomorrow night against South Carolina, and uh, really looking forward to that. I know it's, it's going to be the first for both programs, so a special day in Clemson and South Carolina history. Um, really looking forward to it. Um, we originally scheduled a home and away this year. Um, however, when the ACC uh, made us cut 10% uh, of our schedule, um, we were forced to only do one game this year, but next year uh, Coach Smith and I have agreed to do a home and away. So really looking forward to it. I, I know South Carolina's got a really uh, uh, a program with a lot of tradition and history, and obviously we're brand new, um, but glad to, glad to get this series started tomorrow night. Well, how much have you learned about this rivalry since you've been here at Clemson, and how excited are you that you're finally going to get to get it started in softball? Yeah, you know, I've, I've heard a lot about it and obviously been to the, you know, basketball, football, um, all, all the sports, baseball, all the, all the sporting events, and, and have seen, seen the rivalry games take place in, in those sports, and uh, it's, it's special. It, you know, really, whatever school you're at, you have a rival, and, and those games always mean a little bit more. And, and uh, for us, we're, we're looking forward to it and, and um, looking forward to visiting their, their nice stadium and, and, and hopefully playing very well in the, in the first rivalry game ever. Uh, you come in pretty hot. What do you, how do you keep that momentum going and, and not cast this off at, well, this is not a conference game, we got it, but we've got to put the same intensity into it? Well, I think as a coach and as, as a player, you know who you're playing. And, and uh, you know, certainly we understand that, that South Carolina is in the SEC conference, is one of the best conferences in the country. We know that uh, they're a very storied, you know, program with a lot of tradition and success in, in their history. And, and so, you know, for us, it's easy to say, just take it as another game, but we're, we're gonna be excited as I'm sure they will be. Um, but, but once the game starts and, and, you know, the first pitch is thrown, it, it's softball. And so I trust that our team will be ready to play and, and execute. Coach, at this point in the season, I mean, you have a really impressive record, and I know you had high expectations for this program coming in a few years ago, but now that it's actually all coming to fruition and you're ranked nationally, what does it kind of mean for you to see where you're at at this point? You know, I'm not going to lie. It's, it's, um, it's, you know, it feels really good to have the success that we've had in such a short amount of time. Um, we tell our team all the time, you know, not to um, – not, not to take these times for granted. You know, winning is, is hard. You know, it's hard at this level. And, and certainly we want to embrace this, the success that we've had this year and, and, and keep doing what we're doing, you know. But, um, you know, I think keeping things in perspective, we, we can't take winning for granted. We know that there's a lot of preparation and work that's gone on to the end of this season. And we know that we have to continue to do that to, to, to be successful. Does it make things uh, a little more intense in the rivalry that they are the established program and you guys are kind of the upstart coming into the game? You know, I don't think so. I, I mean, um, you know, the players have played against their players growing up in travel ball and, and high school ball. So, um, it, you know, I haven't put a lot of weight into that aspect of the rivalry. I just know we're excited to go play South Carolina. They're a great team and, and looking forward to a great night of competition. Hey, Coach, I just want to switch gears a little bit and ask you a question about Valerie. After the season got cut short last year, um, maybe it was early last year, maybe it was at the beginning of this year, when did you realize that she had big time to the softball potential? Well, we knew that when we recruited her. You know, I mean, when you're in the business of recruiting and coaching, you, you don't uh, overlook talent too often. And so the first time that Coach Jameson and I saw Valerie play, we knew she was going to be special. And, we just had to talk her into coming to Clemson, so that was the first challenge. But even last year, you know, um, although the year was cut short, Valerie um, was was doing a lot of really good things, you know, and and um, and I think the experience has definitely helped her for this year. She's matured a lot. Um, she's been in big games now. Um, she's dealt with injuries and dealt with some adversity, so. Uh, she was very well prepared coming into this year, and I, uh, a lot of it goes to, to Valerie's work ethic and, and what she's done on and off the field to get her ready to have this success. To have two complete games, or two uh, no-hitters in a week from her, I mean, is that, I mean, you know her potential, but to see everyone else talking about it, <laughs> how does that feel? You know, she's she's been knocking on the door this season a couple of times. So to see her finally break through that barrier and get the first no hitter, uh, albeit a five inning no hitter against Winthrop, was pretty special. 
um, but to see her turn around and do it again on Sunday, um, you just don't see that a lot in any sport at any level, you know, that, uh, so, you know, we, we appreciate that and, and don't take it for granted and, and understand that she's worked very hard to put herself in a position to throw those no hitters. You know, she fields her position very well and she, uh, she throws with velocity, she can change speeds and she hits her spots. And when she does that, she's very difficult to hit. Having the season stopped suddenly last year and you had a pretty good momentum going there. Talk about the team's mindset coming into this season with that, you know, you always had that idea that it could be turned off at any time here. Well, I think, you know, every sport and every program in the country that got shut, shut down last year understands now the importance of not taking you know the games for granted and and really coming into fall ball you got a sense that our players were locked in and focused and just appreciative to be able to play the game that they love to play and and that's made a huge difference with our team this year in our, in our preparation and focus you know it, it they know that the game can be taken away from you just like that and whether it's a pandemic or a, a career-ending injury it can all end today you know and not to take that that opportunity for granted Looking forward to Saturday or this weekend series. Talk a little bit about them and, and what, to look, what fans can look for from, you, from, your, from North Carolina State. Well, North Carolina State's a very good team. They're on a winning streak right now, and, and uh, they, they have some great upperclassmen in their program um, that have provided a lot of uh, big moments for them. Um, they're an explosive offensive team. They hit a lot of home runs, um, and, and they're, they're right there fighting for their postseason lives and, and for a, a placement in the ACC tournament. So we're expecting a big challenge weekend this this uh, coming weekend against North Carolina State. And finally, we've talked so much about the pitching and all, but your defense has been putting out some web gems out there. Let's talk a little bit about what they've worked on and how they've polished, especially in the outfield. Well, I think the biggest thing with defense is it's a mindset. You know, you, you really have to uh, stay focused, and sometimes that's hard to do with Valerie and, and Millie and Reagan, our pitchers, when they when they strike out a lot of hitters. You know, and um, but we we struggled last year defensively, and and we made that a priority with our team is that we've got to improve defense. You know, on, on the defensive side of the ball, um, we hit the ball extremely well, and. Uh, We've got good pitching in the last year and a half, and that was one of the areas that we knew we had to improve on, and, and I think we've done that. And again, that's a tribute to our players' hard work and, and their uh, you know, putting the, the uh, work in to, to improve defensively. And defense kind of lets the pitcher kind of relax and do her job. Well, no question. I mean, in Valerie's no-hitter on Sunday, we had a couple of spectacular plays, uh, one by Cammie Pereira, our second baseman, and and one by Ansley Gilstrap and our first baseman, Kaya Keller, made a good stretch on both plays. And, you know, without those plays, uh, both of those balls are infield hits. So, um, you know, it's, it's, it's a team effort anytime you get a no hitter and, and everybody played a part in that. Anybody have anything else for Coach Rippon?